All right, so in this problem, it asks us to find the max area of a rectangle with a perimeter of 1200 meters. So let's draw a rectangle here. Now this rectangle can be this wide or it can be a little less wide. You don't know what the actual solution is. Now, technically speaking, without doing any calculations, the solution is always going to be a square for questions like this. So for my square, all four sides have the exact same width. So it's just 1200 divided by four, which is basically 300. Okay, so this is how max area can be estimated or kind of you can tell it, but we want to know how to prove this algebraically. If I want to find the area, I'd multiply the two 300s. So my max area would be 90,000 meters square. But if you put this solution on a test, you wouldn't get any marks because you haven't proven it algebraically. So I'm going to show how to prove it algebra algebraically in this question. The first thing I'm going to do is I know that I have my perimeter. So I'm going to write my perimeter formula P equals 2L plus 2W. The second thing I know is that I have to find the max area. So I'm going to write my area equation here. Area is just length times width. And the only information I have in this question is 1200 meters squared or just meters. So I'm going to replace my perimeter with 1200. Okay, so this is what I've got here and I have to use this to somehow find my max area. Well, the key to doing this is to first isolate a variable here and then sub it in this equation. So I'm going to isolate my length. I'm going to move the 2w to the other side. Then I'm going to divide everything by 2. So 600 minus W is going to be my length. I'm going to substitute it over here in this equation. Then I'm going to expand this out or distribute it. Well, technically we don't have to. We can actually leave it in factored form. So what is this right here? This is a quadratic equation for my area. And I need to find my max area. So this is already in factored form. So I can tell my solutions for this one, it's going to be W equals 600. And for this one, it's W equals zero. So let's think about this on a graph. I have a graph here for my area and over here is my width and this equation looks like this. It's a quadratic equation. This is zero and this is 600. I need to find my maximum area. So that's the y value of this equation. So basically I just have to find my vertex. The x value of my vertex, it's just the midpoint here. So my x value or my w is 600 plus 0, my two x-intercepts divided by 2, which is 300. And as you can see, it's the same as what I showed in the square. Now I just have to sub this into my area equation. I can also find my length if I want using this one. There's two ways to do it. It doesn't really matter. I'll find my length here first. So 600 minus 300 is my length so 300 meters is my length so as you can see that's what i've shown here with this square your width and your length i proved algebraically are exactly the same all i have to do is sub it in my area equation so area is length times width which is the exact same solution there as 90,000 meters square